BBC weatherman Tomas Schaffernaker was horrified on returning home to see that thieves had pillaged his festive Christmas lights from his front door. He took to Twitter to voice his frustration at the mean-spirited act yesterday. To the absolute who cut the wires and stole some of my Christmas lights and ornaments from outside my front door, he raged to his 85,700 followers. I mean. I can't even. He posted a photo of one of the severed wires to illustrate the unfathomable act of pre-Christmas cruelty. The 42-year-old Polish British meteorologist, who lives alone despite being an out and proud gay man, is a regular fixture on the BBC's weather shows, and is also a keen part-time artist. Born in Gdansk, Tomasz later received a best say in meteorology from a British university and quickly became a firm favorite on the BBC after joining up. It seems viewers scarcely minded if he was the bearer of bad news on topics like summer rain, storm clouds and below freezing temperatures, as they also rated him as a heartthrob. In fact, Tomasz even posed partially nude for an attitude photo shoot, wearing just his shorts. On another occasion, he was forced to issue an apology after raising a middle finger to fellow BBC presenter Simon McCoy on air, in the mistaken belief he was off camera. Today, however, he was showered with messages of regret from fans regarding the cruel Christmas prank. Crafting Hearts wrote back on Twitter, speculating, maybe it's someone who couldn't afford to get a tree inside or out and may have young kids that they are just trying to give them an amazing Christmas. No wait they would probably ask. It's shocking people do this to others. Meanwhile Nigel Wilmot speculated it might not have been a human criminal who caused the chaos. Absolute Wers, he sympathized. But slim chance it may have been foxes. We know of many chewed wires and stolen decorations that have been foxes playing. Our foxes love wires, concurred Sarah Jane. They took out all our newly installed deck lights, hot tub, 7x brake sensor cables on two vehicles. So at Schaffernaker, it's a possibility. Still very sorry for you. Nigel replied, in our nephews, road, Darius, a brake sensor cable chewing gang of foxes. They've even tried coating the cables with grease and super hot chili power etc and still got chewed. Raggy messered on the side of blaming humans, revealing, I live on a retirement development and one couple who decorate their garden have had all their lights stolen for the last two years, and the garden furniture in the summer. Callister wrote, I can't believe how some people can be so mean. All the lights are put out to make people happy, they are happiness stealers. I hope that the rest of your Christmas is so wonderful that this pales into a tiny smudge in your memory. Ian de Gresley had a more mischievous tone when he posted a photo of phallic-shaped fairy lights in reply, offering, I've got some spare ones I could pop over for you.